Hey guys, what I've got right here is a pretty cool species of snake. This is a queen snake. And prior to today, I hadn't actually found this species in, a, in this spot for a pretty long time, about a year. We didn't find one any last year, we used to find a whole bunch. I was getting a little worried, you know, the population wasn't going too strong. But, uh, it's definitely a great indicator to find this guy right here. This is, this is actually an adult. They don't get too big. I mean, I've seen bigger, but, you know, about, about a foot is pretty good size for this snake. I can tell that this guy is a male. Because if you were to zoom in really close, you can see that his tail is short, while females actually have a long tail. Now, something really, oh, he's pooping everywhere. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Wipe it off right here. Uh, something pretty interesting about this snake is that they actually only eat crayfish, and in particular, soft cell crayfish, which means the crayfish, when they're molting, that's the only time they can eat them. Because if the crayfish has this hard shell, then these guys can't eat them. So that, in the crayfish, they need very oxygenated waters, so it makes it very hard to find good habitat for these guys. Now, this snake in particular, they like stream, big streams with lots of rocky shores and vegetation. The vegetation is for them, they like to bask in that, and then the predator comes, they'll just drop in the water. And then you can usually find them hiding under some flat rocks. Now, I remember a few years ago, this snake used to be very, very hard to find. But now I finally got a good spot, and uh, you can uh, find these guys somewhat easily. I mean, we didn't find any last year, but we weren't out here as much. But personally, this is one of my favorite snakes to find just because of how beautiful they are. They've got a pretty, uh, pretty distinct looking pattern. I mean, they look somewhat similar to, what is it, ribbon snakes. But the easiest way to distinguish them is their belly. They have four brown stripes at the bottom, and then they have a brown top. So, I mean, in conclusion, a uh, very beautiful snake, very harmless snake, so if you see these guys, don't kill them, they're not a copperhead, and I'm um, very lucky to finally, to finally find these guys after the, the quote-unquote queen snake drought.